Hi, I'm Dr. Brent Greenberg with Carolina Vein Specialists. I'm here with our two excellent nurses, Farron and Shannon. We're here to go over in this video one of the most frustrating things our patients have to do, and that is putting on and taking off graduated support stockings. Support stockings used for vein treatment are considerably different than what you buy over the counter. We're going to go over how the stockings are made and how you can put them on and take them off without being super frustrated. So Shannon's first going to demonstrate to you and look, show you what a support stocking is. Support stockings are designed to be tighter down by the ankle and they gradually become less tight as they move up the legs. At the top of the stocking, there is usually a built-in beads or strips that are made of silicone to help keep the stocking attached to your skin so it doesn't slide or roll down your thigh. Typically, stockings come in versions of closed toe, where you have a full toe there, or they come in an open toe version, which we'll show you in a bit on how to put these on. Stockings are made to help keep the blood from pooling in the lower part of your leg and help move it out. They're most important for after your treatments. So what we're going to show you today is how to put them on both with, when you have no device to help you and what sort of devices are out there existing to help you put the stockings on as well. The first thing we're going to show you is how to put stockings on when you don't have any kind of supportive device to help you. The first thing I'll tell you is it's so much easier to put stockings on if you wear some form of gloves. If you use gloves to wash dishes with, like the latex type gloves or vinyl gloves, those work great. So do gardening gloves as long as they have sort of a tacky uh, uh, type of material onto them. We here are going to use surgical gloves, but any type of those kind of gloves are best. And the reason why is that the skin on your fingers tends to be oily, and when you grab a stocking with bare hands, you'll have a tendency to want to grab, dig in with your nails, and if you do that, you'll put a run in the stocking and you'll damage them. So always wear some kind of gloves. Now, with a stocking, the, the way you put it on without the device is you want to first reach inside and grab the heel of the stocking with your hand, then you'll do is you'll pinch the heel and pull the stocking back up over to the heel. You don't want to get it beyond the heel. Then turn the stocking over and you'll put your foot inside with the heel down. And the hardest part is to get the foot and ankle up first. But once you do that part of it, it's much easier than to grab it and just sort of pull it up to your thigh. It's really important to pay attention that once you get the stocking on, check to make sure there are no wrinkles in the stocking, especially behind the knee. But you can get wrinkles anywhere. But the reason why is that if you leave a wrinkle in a stocking, as you walk and move, the wrinkle tends to pinch the skin and oftentimes can leave an open sore. So you want to be very careful about that. Now we're going to show you another method of putting the stockings on when you have a type of stocking that comes with some sort of assistive device. We use Medi brand stockings in this office and the Medivin products come with a little device that's called a booty and the booty is sort of made with like a kite material. So the way we put this on is you kind of slip your foot inside the booty and this makes it much slicker and easier to put the stocking on. You still want to wear your gloves when you do this. But then you go ahead and just without having to fold the stocking inside out, you just kind of put your foot in and stick it through all the way out to the opening itself, being really mindful of where the stocking ends. And if you look on the heel, you'll be able to see sort of a triangular appearance to the seams of the heel, and that's how you know that you haven't gone too far. Now, when you take the stocking, when you want to get the booty off, the, the, the most important part here is to make sure you grab your ankle with one hand and then pull the booty out because if you don't grab it, you're going to end up pulling the stocking over your foot. Okay, so sometimes you might have a closed toe stocking, and closed toe stockings have limitation is that you can't use a booty, obviously, because the toe is seamed shut. So there are other assistive devices that exist out there. One device we'll show you is called a butler. A butler is sort of a frame designed to help you get the stocking on, and the advantage to this is that if you're struggling to bend over to reach to reach your foot, because that can be really difficult, this will make it a shorter distance for you to reach, and it's much easier. So. Shannon will do is take the stocking and she'll have it as if she's going to put it on her leg where the heel is pointed towards her and the toes away and then she wraps the top of the stocking over the frame and sort of just kind of pushes it down until she gets to the heel and you'll be able to see it because as she pushes closer and closer to the heel there'll be the seam and the emblem of the stocking so you can turn and show that. Then she'll hand it the stocking over the, the butler over to Farron and basically, you just be, you stick your foot inside and pull it up to about the top of your calf, and then grab the top of the stocking and pull it up your thigh. And it's that simple. 
So bucklers are really, really easy. And you can use these with open toe stockings too. They're just not something you carry around in your purse very often, easily. So that's why we usually recommend this for home use only. Okay, I'm Dr. Brent Greenberg with Farron and Shannon from Carolina Vein Specialists. Thanks for watching and I hope this answered your questions.